In this video, I'll show you how to create these really nice light sliders in Home Assistant. These are inspired by a Reddit post I found a while ago, sadly I'm not able to find the post again, but this code is simplified a fair bit. You will need to install my slider card v2 and bubble card from Hacks. Link is in the description. As always, you can get the full YAML code on my website. Start by creating a new card. Choose the vertical stack card, then add a bubble card to it. Set the card type to separator. Continue by adding a name and icon to the separator. Then go into the YAML editor and add the My Slider V2 card below the separator. Add an entity, this is your light, and set the color mode to brightness. Now we have a very basic slider that can change the brightness of our light. Next, we need to start styling the slider. Under Styles, add Container, Card, Track, Progress, and Thumb. I set the border radius of the container really high to get rounded corners. The card gets a height of 45px and a padding of 0.25px. Next, I temporarily set the background to red. For the track, I set overflow to visible and background to none. Same with progress, set background to none. Thumb is that little circle that we can drag left and right to set the brightness of our light. I make the background white. Top will be 4px and right will be minus 18px. Width and height is 36px. And I set the border radius really high again. Lastly, something I forgot, we need to set overflow to visible on the container. That's the slider for setting the light brightness done, except for the color. Now we can copy and paste this card to create the temperature slider. We just need to set the color mode to temperature and we should edit the background color. I use a website called cssgradient.io to easily create CSS gradients. I have found some colors that I like, so you could just copy these or use your own. When you're happy, just copy the code that the website generates into the card background. Do the same for the temperature slider, but this should go from blue to red. Note that my slider card also supports hue and saturation modes, so if you use either of those, you should probably change the gradient to suit. One last change I did to the temperature slider was to add a margin top of minus 8px to the container. This just moves the cards a bit closer together. And that's the finished light slider card. Kinda neat. But I think we can take this one step further. If you're like me, you have a lot of lights. It really sucks if you want to update the light cards, and you have to edit all of them one by one. So let's fix that by creating a template that we can reuse. We would then only need to edit it once to update all light cards. To do this, you will need to install Decluttering Card from Hacks. Start by going into the card we've created and copy the whole card, including the vertical stack card. Then click the three dots in the top right and go into Raw Configuration Editor. This is a scary place to be, but make yourself some space towards the top. Start by writing decluttering underscore template. Then on the next line, give the template a name. Then we need to add our card, paste the whole code, and correct the indentation. You can select the code and hit tab a few times. Then we need to edit a few parameters that will be unique to each light card, also known as variables. It's just a variable name inside double square brackets. I create variables for the name, the icon, and the light entity. Then we just need to copy the light variable to the temperature slider as well. Save and exit out of this editor. Back on the dashboard, we need to create a new card. Type will be custom decluttering card. Template will be the name that we gave our template. Then we can edit the variables we set up. Just add light, name, and icon. I get really confused here because nothing seems to work properly. But you just need to add your properties, hit save, and it should update. And that's the light card complete, using a nice template that we can reuse as many times as we want to. What I did next was just to move this light card into a vertical stack so I could easily add more lights below. All you have to do is use the same code for each light, but edit the variables to make them unique. This decluttering card template system can of course also be used in a lot of other situations. Hope you liked this video. I have a lot more content coming, so if you like what I've done so far, I would really appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.